This is becoming a problem, and I don't mean the chips. My left hand looks something out of the swamp from Shrek's movie after getting some of that greasy, delicious, crunchy bites. And these are not the type of bites my computer needs. Like how can I use the keyboard and play games with this hand? So I put all of my two brain cells to work and came up with a brilliant solution. Why not combine all the gaming peripherals into a single one-handed device and it'll be the ultimate gaming controller. Huh? Imagine all the possibilities of what your left hand can do while you speedrun Minecraft using only one hand. So in this video, we're going to turn a computer mouse- oh wait, no, that's too small. We're going to turn a regular sized mouse into the ultimate one-handed gaming controller and push the limits of what a single hand can do in gaming. And of course, we'll explore what other useful things we can do other than gaming, like continuously moisturizing ourselves while simultaneously browsing the web. Now I know I'm not the first to design a gaming mouse with all these additional inputs attached to it. Gaming mice had side buttons as early as 1999, and people got more creative, where they began adding trackballs as well as joysticks to the mouse, and whatever this thing is. But recently, Azeron released an awesome gaming controller, the Syro. Like look at this amazing one-handed gaming controller. The guy's playing games while eating chips, exactly what I want to do. <sighs> now I'm not an expert on human interface devices, but I have a disagreement with Azeron's design for the Syro. It has the user's hand angled to the side when compared to a conventional mouse that I'd much prefer to use. I believe the ultimate one-handed gaming controller should feel like a mouse. Also, it costs 195 euros. That's 285 Monopoly dollars where I live, and I definitely can't afford that in this economy. Economy. With all this inflation, we gotta downsize everything. Just look what I had to do to my gaming setup. Since we'll be building our controller based on a computer mouse, I went ahead and ordered the best performing one. Alright, time to unbox this thing. Oh, you could just open this? What? Leave a like for a successful unboxing. Before we start building our one-handy gaming controller, let's quickly review the design. Here we see our USB mouse as the starting point, and we need to add a second device which has the joystick and additional keys for gaming. The second device can be implemented using an Arduino Micro, but then we'd end up with two USB devices and this awkward two cable situation. Well, it's a good thing someone invented USB hubs, because we're going to turn the two cables into one using it and somehow fit everything into this mouse. Bruh. First up is attaching the joystick and getting it to work for WASD movement. Hmm, this feels very familiar. <laughs> mm. We need a hole so that our little friend here can fit into the mouse, and I think this is the perfect spot. Now we could do this properly by designing a 3D model with the exact measurements of the cover so that we can have a perfect fit for the joystick, and then we can... Yeah, I'm not gonna do any of that. I took the easier route. Huh? All right, it's looking good. Nice. I've hooked up the joystick to the Arduino and wrote a simple program so that we can test it out. I won't go into details on how the joystick works in this video, but if you're really curious, check out the code on my GitHub. Let's open up Minecraft, load up our code onto our Arduino, and we can only go forward and left. Huh? Oh, there's a bug in my code. Look at this dumb mistake. I copied and pasted the code for up and left movements for down and right movements and forgot to change it to be down and right. Let's fix it. Okay, we have movement. We can move forward, backwards, left, right, and even diagonal. And while you weren't looking, I set the joystick clicks to be spacebar for jumping. Yes. Before we continue, we need to do something about this two USB cable situation. I got this cheap USB hub so that we can reduce the cable to only one, but it's freaking huge. Like this is almost eight inches. So we're gonna downsize it by removing the tip and giving it a circuit board circumcision. And after, we can connect the mouse and the Arduino to the USB hub. Okay, mouse is working, and the Arduino joystick is working as well. Now we can catch that kitty. You hide it forever, Ricky. When I catch you, Ricky. Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky. Ricky, when I. All that we're missing now are the buttons, because if we want to make this the ultimate one-handed gaming controller, we're gonna need to add a whole lot more of these. But before adding them, we need to decide on the type of switches we're going to use. I'm sure you'll agree that mechanical keyboard switches feel and sound the best when compared to membrane or these tiny push buttons. And if you don't agree, my disappointment is immeasurable. Unfortunately, these switches are too big for our project, but I did find these low profile switches that'll work perfectly for our controller. I think we should start off by adding three buttons near the joystick, but we're gonna have to make more room on our mouse. 
nice. This is looking great, and I've added additional code to support the three new keys. But this is where my troubles began. I've positioned these switches so that I can easily access each one using my thumb without touching nearby keys. But you'll notice that there are times when my thumb ever so slightly moves the joystick. And this is something you never want to do, especially in an intense in situation. situation. Let's jump right into the action. The explanation part of this video is getting way too long. Just know that I sprinkled some software magic, slapped on some patches, and it all worked out. Now, there was only one thing to do, training myself to use the ultimate one-handed gaming controller. But first, I need to moisturize myself. Bruh. My training started in the Valorant practice range, shooting some targets. Goodbye, keyboard. Okay, 13, not bad. But uh, I think I think we could definitely do better. A few moments later. Okay, 15. All right, that's pretty good. After I got comfortable with my aim, I decided to practice my gameplay with bots, and I got absolutely cooked. What the fuck? Using this one-handed gaming controller made me realize that I am literally rewiring my brain to use this thing because I'm controlling the camera rotation using the mouse while also moving and using abilities with the joystick and keyboard with only one hand. It's a lot of work. But after some practice, I started getting used to the one-handed gaming controller and saw major improvements. It got to the point where I was no longer getting killed by bots. But I did run into a major issue. I was missing keys for a lot of the action abilities. For example, I couldn't even plant the bomb. Oh my god, I don't have enough buttons to press four. I don't have a four binding. Oh. I made a miscalculation in the initial design and we obviously need more buttons. If only these could just stick on there. I think we can place these where the index and middle fingers are. The buttons can sort of float in this area and provide easy access for the fingers. So I've designed and 3D printed these supports that will add on to the front of the controller base with two buttons on each support. After some gluing and wire management, I got them to work. Another issue that we need to fix is that I can't lift and move the controller easily when I need to make large changes in my aim. This issue becomes more apparent when I'm using the joystick and trying to aim at the same time. Luckily, this is an easy fix where I just need to install these Velcro straps. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, and while you weren't looking, I added another button on the side for menu. And while you weren't looking again, I added more buttons on nibbles. Huh? And while you weren't looking again again, I made this 1% mechanical keyboard, which will come in handy for gaming. I programmed the key to press F, to pay respect of course. Did I mention it has RGB LEDs? <laughs> Look, if Corsair can call their K1 RGB button a 1% mechanical keyboard, so can I. All right, enough talk. Time to test drive our ultimate one-handed gaming controller. Bruh. I decided to hop back on Valorant, but this time it's ranked games with real players. Time to get ranked. Match found. After I got matched, I picked Sage as usual and saw this. What? I haven't played Valorant for over a year and I've never seen this map before. I feel so bad for these guys if I lose. Oh, don't worry, Just Kim. You're going to feel terrible throughout the entire game. Here's a quick summary of how everything went. Sage, you bomb. Sage, you bomb. Or Sage is throwing. Yo, can you heal me? Our sage is unironically a bot. Our sage is actually yeah. like a bot. Uh, I feel like the bot wouldn't know chamber. how to heal me. Uh, <laughs> did the bot heal you? It's definitely a bot, man. It's definitely like an actual yeah, it was it was really chance. Uh, We get to write the funniest report. You get to write bot account or bot account. It's a double up Tatra. <laughs> As you saw from the clips, I choked so many times and I had trouble pressing the correct keys. My movement also needed more practice and I literally moved like a bot as my teammates correctly pointed out several times. Wait, what's our sage doing? Like no joke, never play comp again. Like no offense. But... You bought this account. You're not ready, you're not ready. You either bought, you bought this account or you're a leveling bot. As a 0% chance this is a real player. I actually don't have the heart to tell these guys I'm playing with only one hand. I did get some decent kills here and there. But I died most of the time and I was bottom frag. <laughs> Bruh. Attackers win. Oh my god, that was the worst. <laughs> GG. Wow. I'm I'm getting off this game, guys. I'm sorry. This is this is so disheartening. What the hell? I had a lot of fun making the one-handed gaming controller, and I plan on challenging myself using it as my daily driver. I made a second channel where I'll be playing games with it, so make sure to subscribe to Just Kim Live. Link to the channel is in the description. As a quick preview, I'll be trying to get to Diamond and Valorant using the one-handed controller, and some of the other games I have lined up include Minecraft, Fortnite, and of course, Pokemon with guns. Bruh. And as the channel name suggests, I'll also be doing live events and challenges later on this year. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and for a future video, I'm thinking we can fit this entire controller into a single joystick and beat Elden Ring using it. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks everyone and see you in the next one.